Patrick Reed for GoMarquette.com with men's golf coach Steve Bailey as the Marquette Golden Eagles get set to open up their spring season with some play in Scottsdale, Arizona beginning on Thursday with practice rounds and Friday with the Desert Mountain Intercollegiate. Coach Bailey, it was an impressive fall season for your team. You all are hanging right around that top 70 mark, which generally gets you into the discussion for the NCAA championships coming up in May. How do you feel about where your team stands after that fall heading into the spring? Yeah, we got a long way to go till we get to the postseason, but you know, I think it's a good start. And uh, we did a good job of ramping up the schedule, uh, strength of schedule wise. And so it'll put us in a good position. So the guys, I think we're getting more used to being in those situations, which, you know, should get us ready for, you know, for the postseason. When we do get there, um, we've been there before and, and we've done that and we've faced some of the top programs in the country. And uh, so the schedule's ramped up. Uh, I think our guys, uh, that gives them a, you know, a good sense of confidence going into these uh, stronger fields. And, and so, yeah, and to have I think four of our six events, we placed in the top five uh, this fall. So if we keep that, that momentum going and you know, we get kicked off with a good strong field to start the spring. So we're ready to go. Yeah, coming out of the fall season, a lot of folks have Marquette as being maybe the favorite to take home the Big East title in April. You're not there yet. What do you have to do this spring to be at that point where you can be the favorite, can walk away with a Big East championship? Yeah, sure. I think the, the main focus for our guys is just focus on getting better each and every day. And so, you know, if we can do that um, and continue to put ourselves in positions where we're a little bit uncomfortable, and uh, being comfortable doing those things. And uh, so, you know, for instance, our first event, uh, you know, we have a top five team in, in Oregon coming in, uh, some strong Big Ten schools, University of Florida. So once again, we're putting ourselves in a position to you know, face some top competition. But, you know, the thing we got to do is just take care of our own business. And it's nice to be ranked uh, where we are, I think maybe the highest in school history at, at this point. But, you know, we, we got to take care of business throughout the season and throughout the spring. And you know, I think if we can focus on just improving each day, I think our results are, you know, they'll, they'll be a byproduct of that hard work and effort. Yeah, so much of this sport is swing. So much of this sport is repetitions. But you've taken a different approach from the fall going into the spring, spending more time on strength training, conditioning. Tell us a little bit about what you all have been doing since the fall ended heading into the spring. Sure. Well, our main focus is to be ready at the end of the spring and heading into the conference championships and postseason. So, you know, our main focus was to get them kicked off with getting acclimated with school and all. But, you know, the main focus for us for the first month was the physical side of things. And so um, our, our strength coach, Nate Hireman, has done an amazing job in embracing the golf aspect of things. And he's become certified in the TPI, which is the Titleist Performance Institute. Uh, so it's basically in a nutshell, golf-specific uh, workout. So I think not only has he prepared them physically, but uh, the things Nate's been able to do uh, mentally, putting our guys in you know, some uncomfortable positions, uh, facing some adversity, and proving to them that you know, they got a little something else in the tank when it, uh, times get tough. And, and so as we know in, in, in our sport, um, you know, they're long rounds, and, and so there come times where you hit a little bit of a roadblock. But Nate's done such a good job of allowing our guys to, you know, to know that they can keep pushing through those things. And so we're ready to see the, the benefits of that moving into the spring. Yeah, and you all will see that tested very early on. 36 holes your first day out to start the season. So we'll see where all that training comes in and pays off. But one of the things I noticed about your team coming into the spring is, Steve, that you're getting contributions everywhere throughout your lineup. Marquette is the only team in the Big East that has six guys ranked in the top 20 in scoring average this season. What do you chalk that up to? I just think the competition within. You know, we're pretty fortunate to you know, do a lot of things where we have you know, our guys competing each day. And so I think that says a lot about you know, the environment we've created, the types of guys we're bringing in who, who really embrace that competition. So you know, that's, that's nice to see that we have six guys that you know, have all made contributions at some point. And um, you know, fortunately, we're only able to take five of those guys to the tournament but you know I think that's, that's what we base a lot of our program around is you know building that competition within and hopefully that translates to you know solid play once we get to events. 
One of the guys among that group that really stands out is Patrick Sanchez, and he went to the inaugural Latin America Amateur Championships, had a shot at the Masters on the line. What do you think he got out of that experience back in January? A great experience for Patrick. Uh, one, to represent his country, uh, but two, to play on a stage like that. Anytime you get a carrot like that of, of a major, uh, and the Masters is the, the pinnacle of what we do in our sport. And so, uh, you know, those are those childhood dreams that, that we all have to play in an event like that someday. So a great experience for him. And, you know, he's had a lot of international experience, but, you know, chance to get some coverage on ESPN and, and go play with some of the best players in the world is, is only going to benefit him moving forward this spring. Yeah, just a fantastic experience for Patrick Sanchez back in January. Now, Steve, things are really looking up for this Marquette program. You all, for a couple of years now, have hosted the Aaron Hills Intercollegiate, which is a, a top-level, uh, USGA-level course. And then you have the NCAA Championship, which has been awarded to Marquette, a regional round coming up next season. Things are really moving in, in the right direction. Do you see that every day when you work with these guys, too? I think so. I mean, I think the one thing we've really done a good job of is – is elevating the program in terms of the the events we're playing in and so to have a venue like Aaron Hills and you know it's not too hard to sell other teams on coming to this tournament but the reciprocity of that event too you know it's opened the doors for us to get in to a lot of other events and top tier events so you know it's all about preparing for the postseason and, and those venues and the strength of schedule with those fields have really helped our team and you know, like I told you before it's like, all right well we're trying to comfortable in those those situations I think we've you know from where we started and where we are now with our program uh, we've definitely got to a point we've taken some good strides and you know our ultimate goal is to get into the postseason and and then on to an NCAA championship and if they have a shot on the final day to you know to compete for some titles so I think the more and more we you know get in these environments it's only going to help us. Yeah, things definitely moving in the right direction for this program. Mark Head Coach Steve Bailey, thanks for joining us, and best of luck in your quest for Big East Championship this spring. Patrick.